so uh, this is a bit tricky question you need to find out the oxidation of a number of phosphorus in BH2PO2 whole twice sulfur in H2H2O3 and sulfur again in H2H2O5 so we do uh, go on with the first part first phosphorus in Ba H2PO2 whole twice we know that barium is 2 plus and this is 2 minus therefore the structure we are looking for is H2PO2 minus now we know that the summation of oxidation numbers on of each of the atoms is equal to the total charge on the uh, ion therefore the oxidation number of hydrogen we know as 1 let the oxidation number of phosphorus be x and of oxygen we know as minus 2 therefore we write 2 into 1 since there are 2 hydrogen atoms plus x minus 2 into 2 is equal to minus 1 therefore we get x is equal to 1 therefore the oxidation number of phosphorus in the first ion comes out to be equal to 1 now let us take the second case of H2H2O3 going similarly over here this is plus 1 this is minus 2 this is x therefore 2 plus 2 x minus 6 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 2 but this answer is wrong because we have assumed the oxidation number of different atoms to be uh, equal to minus uh, 2 and plus 1 and x that is we have assumed the oxidation number of both the sulfur atoms to be x which is actually not true when we see the figure so you must always be careful and we always know as to how to find out the oxidation number from the structure of the molecule therefore when you draw the structure of the molecule of H2H2O3 it is something like this here we have a oxygen and like this therefore this we get as the structure of H2H2O3 this is hydrogen here and hydrogen here now from this structure you should always see the difference in the electronegativities of the electronegativities of the two atoms now oxygen being more electronegative to a, uh, than hydrogen snatches this electron of the hydrogen towards its own side now out of these two electrons again oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur therefore it snatches these two electrons also therefore the oxidation number of oxygen becomes minus 2 since it has snatched two electrons extra this becomes plus 1 now the electronegativity difference between these two sulfur is 0 therefore nothing happens to these two electrons now again these two electrons are snatched by the oxygen again this electron of sulfur is snatched by this oxygen therefore the oxidation number of this oxygen is minus 2 this one is minus 2 this is plus 1 and this one becomes 2 plus 3 plus 4 therefore the oxidation number of this sulfur becomes plus 4 because it has lost 4 electrons to its neighboring atoms therefore we see but still we see that the total sum of all the oxidation numbers still comes out to be equal to 0 that is 4 plus 5 plus 1 6 and minus 6 that is 0 therefore we get the final answer for the oxidation number of sulfur in H2H2O3 to be equal to 4 the mistake which we were doing here is that we assume the oxidation number of both the sulfur atoms to be same which is not actually the case as we see here the oxidation number of one of the sulfur atoms is 4 that is the central sub, uh, sulfur atom is 4 and the oxidation number of the other sulfur atom is 0 so in such cases such doubtful cases you should always draw the structure and find out the oxidation number again in the case of h2 so5 we see that if we assume this to be plus 1 this to be minus 1 this to be x we get 2 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 8 but again this is the wrong answer because we have done some mistake in assuming the oxidation number of one of the atoms so we can draw the figure the figure of h2 so5 is like it has a peroxide linkage due to which the oxidation number of each of the oxygen atoms is minus 1 so the mistake which we did over here was that we assume the oxidation number of each of the oxygen atoms to be minus 2 which is actually not the case the oxidation number of this oxygen is minus 2 of this oxygen is minus 2 of this oxygen is also minus 2 the oxidation number of this hydrogen is plus 1 this hydrogen is plus 1 now this sulfur has lost all its 6 electrons of the outermost shell to its neighboring atoms due to the greater electronegativity of the surrounding atoms therefore the oxidation number of sulfur becomes plus 6 now in this case also if we add up the uh, if we add up the total oxidation numbers we get the uh, we get the answer to be equal to 0 let us check 6 plus 7 plus 1 8 is equal to 
2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. Therefore, still 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. The total sum of the oxidation numbers is equal to the total charge on the molecule that is equal to 0. Now, from this we get the oxidation number of the central sulfur atom to be equal to plus 6. So, the answer in this case is plus 6. So, in the 3 parts we get the answer of oxidation number of phosphorus to be 1, oxidation number of sulfur to be 4 and oxidation number of sulfur to be again 6.